So we're at the Ion Beam facility in Albuquerque, New Mexico at Sandia. Basically there's a lot of uh, beam lines set up to do radiation interaction type experiments. So we're using it for uh, understanding the luminescence response of our materials uh, when interacting with radiation. Researchers at Sandia National Laboratories have designed an innovative approach to detecting radiation. In particular, special nuclear materials that are regulated for non-proliferation and could be used to build a nuclear weapon. Using a new class of materials that control and harvest luminescence in novel ways, triplet harvesting plastic scintillators could revolutionize the radiation monitoring world by substantially improving event detection accuracy and efficiency. The triplet harvesting plastic scintillators are composed of three main components. Uh, it's a polymer base, which is the bulk of the material, a small amount of an organic fluorophore, so a fluorescent molecule, and the third, which is the real, the real key to the system, is the triplet harvesting molecule, which is a, a very small amount, a doping amount, of iridium or platinum, and it's a, it's a complex based on those metals. Border crossings are one application for the technology. Materials in existing portal monitors have fundamental shortcomings. For example, they can't discriminate between fast neutrons, the signature for special nuclear materials, and gamma rays, which represent background radiation. Sandia's scintillators can make that distinction and could easily be scaled for use as drop-in replacements for current detectors. The electronics don't need to be retrofitted in existing detector systems. We can just uh, put this in, change a couple of the adjustable parameters, and it'll operate as expected. It can be deployed as is, or there's a significant amount of headroom for new technologies. It took years to develop the technology. Early work with metal organic frameworks, a class of nanoporous materials, led to the discovery that all aspects of the scintillation response could be controlled. Adding to this structure, the team designed new materials with two discrete states that each produce luminescence when interacting with a radioactive particle. This breakthrough approach addresses one of the limitations of current technology, the presence of significant background luminescence in high radiation environments. The problem is the radiation field is so high that it overwhelms the material. So there's uh, the produ production of so much light that there is what's called an afterglow that leads to persistent luminescence that does not decay away and that essentially uh, precludes you from doing a discrimination type of measurement. The luminescence in our materials, it, because it comes from two different types of fluor, um, a, a fluorescent and a phosphorescent fluor, um, come out with different time characteristics and also different spectral characteristics that we can tailor. If you put in a, uh, a new type of fluor that has a, a, a well-defined state and a certain time constant, you know exactly when it's going to be over. So that's how it works. In a nutshell, the triplet harvesting process basically collects non-luminescent excitation energy from a matrix or plastic, and it converts that to a very luminescent uh, uh, molecule within that matrix. And so the upshot is you can control the properties of it, you can increase the brightness, you can change uh, the wavelength emission, you can change the timing characteristics, and all of those handles really lead to a, a very flexible platform that you can tune to different applications. Discrimination of fast neutrons and gamma rays can be accomplished with pulse shape discrimination, PSD, and spectral shape discrimination, SSD. And these new scintillators are the first materials capable of SSD. PSD relies on differences in the emission timing properties. An ionizing particle, in this case a fast neutron, interacts with the scintillator to produce light. The kinetics of light emission are monitored, producing a decay curve with two distinct slopes that correspond to the two luminescent states in the scintillator. The ratio of luminescence from these states is fixed for fast neutrons and provides a timing-based fingerprint for this particle type. The ratio is also fixed for gamma rays, but yields a value very different from fast neutrons. Using this criterion, an unknown particle can now be classified. In SSD, 
The discriminating response relies on differences in the emission spectrum, the color emitted in response to different particle types. The fast neutron emission generated in the scintillator will produce more green light than blue. In contrast, a gamma ray will produce equal amounts of blue and green light and discrimination comes through comparing the relative intensities of the two color response. These mechanisms enable single event discrimination or operation in an unprecedented time integrating mode. Options that give the design team confidence the invention is ready to hit the market and improve the world of radiation detection.